good morning and welcome to the Demon Steelers Indian Metal Podcast. I made a big mistake last time. The band didn't just sound like Nightwish, they were actually covering Nightwish. Hey guys, so welcome to the podcast once again and last week was a really interesting episode. Um, as you may have recalled, I was quite... Um, forthcoming with my opinion on certain things and uh, I called out this band Project Polyphony about uh, sounding too much like Nightwish. Well, it turns out they were actually covering a Nightwish song and I had not heard that song because it's on the newer album and uh, so my apologies for uh, not um, uh, paying attention to that. But however, the advice I did give following that is still uh, quite true. You know, sound like yourself, don't sound like your influences. Uh, so my apologies for that. Um, that's an error that I have now rectified. I also criticized two other bands and the funny thing is both bands messaged me. One of those bands was actually happy with the criticism. Uh, they felt that it was uh, good. It, the exact words were, we don't have an ego, we're here to learn. And I really appreciate that. The other band however said I was too harsh and I got really fucking pissed off sitting and trying to justify what I had done. And that's the thing guys, if you are putting your music on a public platform, me criticizing it on the podcast and being polite about it, I think I was quite polite about it, is really not something to get upset about. You haven't even begun to experience what it's like when people slam you, especially when you start getting hate, which has nothing to even do with your music. So bands start toughening your exteriors, you got a cruel, cruel world in front of you. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, in the news today, Hyderabad based death metal band Godless have signed with Transcending Obscurity and they have also released a teaser video for their upcoming EP. Joe Haley from Psychroptic has done the mixing and mastering and also done a guest solo on it. So check it out, this looks to be very promising. Well, there's no other news, so we're gonna go straight to the weekly videos. Doom metal band Dirge have released a video of them covering the song The Blue by Acid Bath at their last gig in Hyderabad. Check it out. Spine Shatter from Chennai have released drum cam footage for their song Eyes of Hate. Check it out. This band called Skybound has released a lyric video for their song called Take Me Back. Now I'm going to point out, check out the logo. It looks exactly like the Sky Harbor logo. So come on guys, you can do better than that. Also listen to the recording of the song. The guitars are all in mono. So I don't know if that's an error because you exported it incorrectly. But just go back to the drawing board and, and fix that. You know, guitars, the song sounds like a, like a radio is playing it. Uh, again, I don't mean to single out and be mean or anything, but just guys get your shit together, all of you. Anyway, next up, Varun Raj Nair has released a playthrough for his song October Blues. Check it out. And anonymous band Heathen Beast from Kolkata have released a lyric video for their song called Rise of the Saffron Empire. Check it out. Well, that's all the videos for this week. We'll be back with more videos next week. And um, now it's time for the gig guide. On the 2nd of April, there is Shockwave happening in Hyderabad. This is done by the same guys who bought you Dirty Ego. So Hyderabad is getting a lot of metal gigs very regularly. Awesome. On the 3rd of April, Demonic Resurrection will be playing at NIT Manipur. If you are in the area, come and check it out. And on the 10th of April, there is Blood Eagle in Pune. So don't miss that gig. Also, I am unofficially announcing that the Metal Nights will be on the 17th of April in Hard Rock Cafe in Mumbai and we are going to have a Braxious headlining the show. More details as they come. Well, that's all the gigs for this week. Time to go to the Merch Corner. Thrash Metal Scepter have put out some coffee mugs and mobile phone covers on Toad4.com. Check it out. Guwahati based but now I think they are from New Delhi, Judas Ancestry have released a make my merch campaign for their t-shirt. I quite like the design, check it out and order it if you like what you see. And Death Metalers Godless have put out a fan pack on Transcending Obscurity. This is their uh, EP which is going to be released on May 7th 
and you can order the fan pack which is the EP and a t-shirt pretty kick-ass design check it out and that's a wrap no more merch this week anyway so that's all for this week and I'm not going to do the podcast next week you're going to see it the week after that I'm going to try the twice a month format and see how that goes anyway as always I've got some music to recommend and I recently ordered this and I got this this is the brand new Heathen Beast EP from Transcending Obscurity Rise of the Saffron Empire check it out uh, I think it's a pretty pretty cool EP I quite enjoyed it uh, give it a listen it's got it's kind of black metalish with uh, some Indian influences it's quite a funny cover and funny thing you know these two guys on it hilarious anyway I'm out of CDs to give away so if you are an Indian metal band and you have an album that you'd like me to give away on this podcast uh, send me a message but who won last week's CD the demonic resurrection one well it is Nick Salvation congrats Nick I'll get in touch and I'll send you the CD so that's all for this week's episode I will see you in two weeks and till next time cheers and keep listening to Indian metal